Good morning, YouTubers. This is Pam. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to try to get out a fast video because a few subscribers had asked me um, how I hook up my water system for my Veiled Chameleon. Now, I personally would love a Mist King. I'm sure everyone has heard of the Mist King, and uh, but not everyone has an overflow of money to purchase every single product that's on the market. So what I've done is I've rigged um, basically something similar to the Exoterra uh, Big Leaf Dripper, only it's uh, maybe on steroids, okay? So what I've done is um, I started out with a stainless steel bowl, a very large copper nugget that I purchased on Amazon. Now you don't have to do the copper nugget, okay? But if you do have any pennies from, I believe it's 1951 and earlier than that, they are like 99.9% .9 co copper. So, but I, you can also purchase these. They're $25, uh, give or take, on Amazon, but they're very heavy and they keep the water from um, gathering bacteria, which can happen quickly, as you know. Be diligent about changing out your water. Uh, lack of food, most animals can survive a little bit of time, but lack of clean water, and you'll lose them. You'll start, they'll get sick in a heartbeat, so if, if not worse. So make sure that all of your babies have fresh, clean, uh, dechlorinated water. Now, getting back to it, what I basically did was I took a little motor that I got at PetSmart or Petco, I can't remember, and it's just a little tiny, uh, I've seen them, everyday motor, okay? You see the little knob on there? I take um, that, put it right in here. Eventually, this straw, I do stainless steel straws with the silicone in between. That's kind of the... Um, that's going to end up being the um, the line that actually shoots the water out. I took a everyday colander, okay? So <laughs> don't take it out of the kitchen without your mom's permission or she'll have you later. Um, but anyway, basically I took a colander, all right, and I flipped it around. I put a hole in it. Because all I really want it to do is keep things and debris from dropping into the water. So, I set it in like this, okay? And then I secure it with these little tiny, you see them everywhere. They're like 59 cents, I don't know. They're pretty strong though, so they work perfectly. And once I get the straw hooked to the motor, hooked to the uh, filter, I go like this. I just like hook it in. All right, with these. And then it starts to drip down, none other than the giant banana leaf that I've folded in half that I've secured to my old Exo, Exo plant dripper. So let me tell you, you can get these on Amazon. It's a big wad of banana leaves. Not only do they look great, but you can, they're wire, but they're coated, and you can use them anywhere. And I find they are the perfect dripper for my failed chameleon, and they look great. So I cut one of them off. I hooked it to the back of uh, my old plant, but you can use anything to stand up the banana plant. You don't have to have anything special. You can just use anything. And then you just take the uh, straw, and if you, as you will see, the straw comes out up here, okay? And then it's gonna drip, a nice fine drip, 24 hours a day, right down the banana leaf. It falls into the bowl, runs through, see, runs through the filter, and then the straw takes it back up. So it's a nice circle. Very simple setup, not costly at all. So he has an option of water 24 hours a day. Now, whether or not your veiled chameleon will drink off of it, that's another animal, okay? <laughs> that's a whole other topic. So make sure every night, if you do have a veiled chameleon, please have a bottle and miss them at night. See if they start opening them, their mouth. Mine at first, especially when it was little, 
he would kind of back up. He didn't want the water, you know, and I was going to go very, very gently on him because you don't want him to aspirate. So it ended up working out great. So every night before I go to bed, even though I have this, I also make sure that I water mittens, okay? every single night and some nights he's not thirsty but other nights he's very thirsty so just keep that in mind do not assume unless you see your veiled chameleon drinking out of this out of the water flow don't assume they're actually drinking okay the other thing i have are pool tubes you know i'm a big fan of pool tubes <laughs> pool tubes are the answer to everything and i've got a nice little variety in here um, they're easy to clean. I, I basically surround the water dish at the bottom and he'll climb down and circle around. Uh-oh, I just sounded like Jen Pisaki. Um, he'll come down, he'll circle around and um, he'll actually sit there and drink out of the water dish. So it's not flowing from here, he'll drink off of this. All right, well, that's it in a nutshell. If anyone has any questions about my watering system that I built for under $10, um, let me know. Have a great day. I've got more hornworms coming, so I just, uh, I just had a, a lot of eggs arrive again um, yesterday, so uh, my, my manduka moths have been very, very busy. Have a great day. Remember, God is great. Hang in there, and if you have questions, just let me know. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, and thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate you. I really, really do. Take care.